this morning's job is to replace an old galvanized water line into this house so i got my locates in uh i think all the power and phone and is in the back and the gas is across the street so they just hear I just basically just kind of pinpoint where I'm going to dig and stuff like that at. So that's all they have to worry about locating instead of painting a bunch of lines where they don't need to. So the water company just always marks the meter and which direction the main is. And then uh, sewer just says okay. So normally they spray that on there and you know there's nothing else in the way. But that uh, runs through here and I think it's... I'll walk back down in the basement. It's either right just to the right of that window down in the basement where it comes in i'm going to attempt to just shove a pipe underneath the sidewalk because i don't really want to take out that sidewalk and they asked me not to disturb the fence too this house was built in 1905 and they're actually kind of in the process of restoring the inside of it and switching they got all the plumbing inside switch this is the last part they've just left the old uh galvanized line i'm gonna replace it back with uh pex line and then i got some inch and a half pvc i'm gonna sleeve that in through here and then uh we get into the house it just kind of i can show you there it runs runs up the wall and then down on the rafters and stuff like that and then ties into all the new stuff that's what we got this morning we will get unloaded and i'm gonna get everything exposed because i don't know 100 percent on which fitting i'm gonna need at the end of that line of that meter so we'll get it dug and go from there came over that way and then hooked on because there's the end of the water line going to the house so now i'm just gonna clean all this out 
and then I'll end up uh, at some of the bottom of the loop of the meter. I'll kind of cut that off and then get a new end to hook the pecs up to. But yeah, that's uh, some of the little surprises and you got to be careful. So We got the ditch dug. Uh, there's where I got it cut off and it runs. They just ran it. They probably stuck it through there and poured, but it's it's moving a little bit. Then I got my sleeve pushed through here. It's like 27 inches. I was hoping to get more of a 30, but I think I kind of pushed it in at an angle, but it's uh, 32 where it came out over here. <clears throat> And I got the, you know, the pigtail cut off on the meter and I got the fitting to put back on there. So now I'm going to go in the house and see, uh, there's a shut off in here on the ceiling that I got to hook to. So I'm going to see exactly what that needs and try to cut the pipe or I can push it through. I guess I'll just kind of run the pecs through there to maybe... I don't know, put some of that expanding foam or something to kind of seal that up or maybe some grout around there. We'll go in there, see what all we need on that. We'll run and get our fitting and start getting the pipe back in here.
Yeah, I didn't get any film taking the old, because here's all the old uh, steel or galvanized pipe that actually come through the wall there and elbowed around, went up there, and then hooked into here. Uh, yeah, and luckily my dad had to uh, stop by when I was trying to fish all this through and get that up there. But yeah, basically, which we're, he's on the way back with some, uh, you know, some concrete or mortar stuff to kind of patch that hole up. But it shoots through there, runs up the wall there, and then down the floor joist is here. Someone had come in from, well, they already ran this piece of PEX, but we put a new shark bite fitting there and they already had this shut off and they've replaced a lot of that, but it was all galvanized up until there. So now we got that all hooked up, which uh, actually isn't too bad. I have not messed with those shark bite fittings a whole lot. So this plumbing stuff's a little new to me. I was glad he came by because that was a pain to try to <laughs> push it through the wall there and then run it up the shelving and it's kind of hard to do with one person. So yeah, now we've got all new pecs ran, I guess from right in here and they're shut off. Uh, after the meter, I'm gonna go out there now and put that fitting on and then we'll turn the water on, make sure it doesn't have any leaks, backfill it and then we will be done. So check out this old uh, boiler. And I guess they've got it all plumbed in still and they're, that's what they're using to heat with. Okay, there's that fitting there. It, uh, now the ends thread on and uh, you slide it over like the, the brass or whatever there. Tighten it up and then do the same thing with the pegs. And in here where you can see, yeah, you just slide it on there. There's a rubber drum and it's almost like a compression coupler, but you can really crank it down and then you put a little piece inside the end of the pex where it doesn't crush it, slide it on there and tighten it down. But the water's on right now and there's uh, no leaks. So everything good inside and out. Yeah, we'll get it back filled and hopefully get it cleaned up and get it looking good before it gets dark. how this one cleaned up last night i tried to take a video at the end but it was just starting to get dark enough you couldn't really see so it's not a bang up job because like i said the material is pumping pretty bad but having the plywood down did help when i got that and then i tried to just kind of leave that in the ditch as best i could and just track it in because i know it's going to settle and sink but yeah i kind of beat up some of the yard over here pretty good and then got the driveway a little bit dirty but uh, I think after talking to her I'm actually possibly going to come back sometime next year and when they're going to work on kind of doing some of the exterior stuff and I make them in here and kind of dress the yard up and stuff then or replace it and 
I don't know if they're ever going to have any landscaping or anything in there or not, but uh, yeah, this is how this job turned out. So they're happy with it. They got a new water line, so no more rusty water going in the house. We are off to the next one. From our family to yours, Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.